Hey guys, it's Adam from Adam's Awesome Projects, and today in this video, we're going to be painting and weathering Tamiya's early Panther G. So in part two, we built the kit, and we also painted on the shadow coat. And in part two, we're going to paint the model, of course, the camo pattern, and we're also going to be painting uh, the wheels and doing chips. And stay tuned at the end of the video for a special shout out to a hobby shop where I got this model from. So without further ado, let's get started on painting our Panther G. Welcome everyone to a new special video on Adam Awesome Project. We love Okay, so we're all done painting the shadow coat with Tamiya's XF1 black and I sprayed the model with hairspray to give it chip effects and now it's time to paint the model with Tamiya's XF60 dark yellow and I mixed it with uh, Polyskills F505 and we're now going to start painting our dark yellow color. <laughs> Okay, so we got our dark yellow all brushed up and now what we're going to do is we're going to paint the model with Tamiya's XF67 Neo Green for our camel scheme. Okay, so I finished off uh, doing uh, chip effects on my tank, and you can see on the top of the turret, and I also uh, painted the gun, and <clears throat> so I just finished off painting uh, the areas where the decals would go with Tamiya's mark fit. This is a decal solution, and I added on the first track on the bottom part of the tank and I finished off painting the tools as well so we're gonna glue the tools on and then we're gonna start applying on the decals Okay, so we're on to our final step of building this model and we're going to add dust by using Tamiya's XF57 buff and we're going to keep uh, the airbrush up, I think like 6 inches away and we're going to apply dust. Okay, so this is our finished up Panther G. This is the early version, and it looks pretty good. And 
I really like how uh, I did the decals though, but this one was a little bit challenging, but the ones on the side, they were okay to do. So, this kit actually retailed for about $33.99, uh, so this was like almost close to like $40, but other than that, it's really an awesome kit. I'll build more Panthers uh, in this uh, series as well. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that as well. Okay, so this is the end of the video. So I want to thank you all for watching the Tamiya Panther G painting and weathering video. And this was a really fun kit to build. And it's going to go with my Panther tank collection, like I said. And also, before we go, I have a shout out to give out. So this is a card that I got from Great Lakes Hobby and Train. This actually is from the owner of course when I bought it he said we can only pay uh, 40 for the Panther G and also this hobby shop is located on Van Dyke Avenue and their phone number is also on there as well I'll leave some shots at the end of the video too and their hours they say they are open from 10 to 8 on Monday through Saturday and they are open on 11 till 4 on Sunday. So, if you're interested in this hobby shop, I will link their website in the description for the video. So, thank you guys for watching. And if you really like this, please give it 10 stars. Also, subscribe if you're not already. And also, give it a like as well, guys. And I'll make some more videos uh, soon. This is Adam from Adam's Awesome Projects. Peace out, guys. Bye.